What is going on guys? It's your boy Pico from Fan97. I will be showing you guys how to use Motion 5 to create typography. So to begin with, you want to go ahead and open up Motion 5. So I have Motion 5 installed onto my Mac. So that's what we're going to be using, of course. So when you first open up Motion, it's going to give you a preview or an option or a window where it says Project Browser, select Motion Project. Your preset should be at Broadcast HD 720. If it's not, go ahead and select it. Uh, frame rate, keep that at 29.97. Go ahead and select the duration. Of course, this will be your milliseconds, uh, seconds, and minutes, hours. So I have mine at one minute and two milliseconds, so about a minute. Uh, make sure that is at time code, and you're done. Click open. Now you have your uh, your project ready to go to create. So to begin with, we're gonna click this right here where it says 100%. That is your canvas size. We want to make it smaller so we can see what is going on. Click that and make sure that is it. Make sure it's on fit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk today. But uh, once you have done that and ready to go, you want to go ahead and create a rectangle. So to do that, you want to click this white rectangle right there, which is to create a rectangle. So a blank white rectangle. So now you want to go ahead and click and drag. Just make it a little bit bigger. And once you let go, it's going to fit automatically and perfectly to fit the canvas. Once you have done that, you want to go ahead and put in your text. So to do that, click the T right here for text. Type anywhere on the canvas document and start typing something. But you may notice when you start typing, it's we can't see it because it's white. The text is white. We're going to fix that later on. So type it in. Keep that in mind that you're spelling it correctly. Again, you can fix it once we do it. So once you're finished, press enter or not enter. Sorry, escape on your keyboard. And you can give you a little preview of your text right there. That means you typed it correctly. Click the HUD window, which is heads up display. And where it says, or where it color option, which is white, click on that once. Uh, left clicking, of course, normally. You want to click and drag this all the way down till you can see it's black. So just keep that in mind. Make sure it's black. Opacity should be at 100%. Blend mode, normal. You can, again, change whatever you'd like. This is just a basic tutorial on typography in Motion 5. So this is basically the easiest tutorial you'll probably find on YouTube if it is easy for you. Select your font, whatever. Uh, you can select what kind of options. And yeah, so to do, increase the size, drag the size um, button right here and drag it to the right to make it bigger or to the left to make it smaller. So I'm gonna keep it just like that. And I'm gonna change the font because this looks very ugly. So I'm gonna select um, this one just not to, to speed up the video. So uh, I select that one, click X right there. And you're done. Now you can move it around anywhere you'd like. Then again, keep on typing something. Hello world and press escape. Click the HUD uh, or this little black box right there next to the camera option there. Select black, or choose the black color right there. Uh, increase the size to whatever you like you'd like, um, and make sure the font is better. It's like I hope, hopefully the font is the same as the font you have because if not, it's gonna look really weird. So, sorry guys, I can't speak today. I can't talk today. Uh, so once you've done that, again, type something else. So I did that, click this, increase the size again. Of course, we have to select our color, which is black, so you can see it, because it's white and white, it blends in. So just like that. And once you are finished with the text, I'll show you how to move it. So press escape, there you go. Now, in the, uh, in the bottom right here, on the timeline, you will have three different um, text bars in this case and to move this you will see your text in this case mine is hello world and of 2014 so it will be in order from which way you've uh, typed it in so now you want to go ahead and select the first one hold down shift and select the very top one right here or you can just press command and select all of them like that so that'd be better hold down command or Click the first one, press command, hold down command, and select all of them. And it should be all of these with the text or with the T on them. Then you'll want to first 
uh, hold down option or command. Sorry, I can't talk today. And then it will be, um, it won't be highlighted anymore. That's what you want. You don't want the first one to be highlighted. I'll tell you why. And then move the, uh, where it says world, move it a little bit forward. You may want to zoom into your timeline to see it more precisely. And this basically just zooms in. It doesn't speed up the video or decrease the video in any way. Then uncheck that by pressing command and clicking the text right here and move this a little longer like that. So now if I were to play it from the beginning, you can see that it pops, pops in, but it's too slow. So I'm just gonna move it back and I'm gonna move this back as well. Now if I play it, it's gonna be like this, but it's too bland, too plain. So how do I do that? Well, you select hello, go to library, just to make it a little bit better, more fancy, go to behaviors, and then go to basic motion and select fade in and fade out. Then click apply. Now, when if you play it in the beginning, it's gonna go like this and then it's gonna fade out. Do this to all of them if you prefer. I'm only gonna do it to the second one and uh, select it, click apply, and they should both have it. So it's gonna be like this, like this, and let's go ahead and do the to of 2014. So it looks like that. Hello world of 2014. Um, so now once we have that, um, we want to uh, make it even better. So you can see that the background, which is white, it looks too plain. So we're gonna have to change that. Select rectangle, which is the actual uh, white canvas. And uh, you wanna go into filters, uh, stylize, and go to the very bottom where it says vignette. And that will make a vignette. So I'll click apply and you can see it has a vignette. How do I customize and how do I change it? So it's very easy. Select rectangle, go into inspector and then go into properties. You will see um, somewhere where it says uh, vignette. So that will be in filters. It'll be in filters because that's what I apply to it. It kind of categorizes it as filters. So select fil um Select the filters option and then vignette. You can create a blur. I'm gonna take blur off. You can create a size if you want if you want to make it smaller or not, and you are done. So uh, this is okay. So we're gonna select it again. We're gonna go into filters, and you can make it a bigger or smaller as you can see right there. I'm gonna make it just like that. You can do a fall off from how far it falls off. If I were you, I'd probably leave it to the very end at one. Uh, blur amount, you can make a blur if you'd like. I don't. You can darken it, even like that. Uh, and yeah, you can do this to any filters you'd like, you prefer. All you gotta do is go to, whoops, into library, create a filter, click apply, go back to inspector, go into filters and edit all of that in there. So that is basically how you create a typography. But what if you wanted to move it or how do you, you know, change it or make it better? Well, there's one way. Uh, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna go forward just a bit. I'm gonna zoom out of my canvas. And this is way too long. See, if I were to play it, it's gonna be a minute long. We don't want that. So we're gonna decrease the, the length of the video or the text. So let me hide these. So I'm gonna decrease this just like that. Like that. Don't uh, take off, uh, don't, change the rectangle because that is the actual document. You don't want to take that off. So now for our to play it, it's going to be like this. Once it fades off, you can see it fades off just like that. Nice and beautiful. So I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, shorter. See like that, like that. And then once it's finished, it gives you that effect right here. So this is where it begins. You can see that hello is still going and then it ends right here. That's when it stops. Same with world and of 2014. So I um, hope that makes sense. So once we're done with that, what if you wanna create a text? So let's type something like wow. And let's go ahead and change our color to black, just like that. Let's create ourselves bigger. What if we wanted to make it come like zoom in? Like how do you do that? It's very simple. Select your text, in this case mine is wow. Go into properties where it says transform. This is what you want to be looking at where it says position. Now you can have these options right here as well. 
Um, in this case, it shall be somewhere around here. I saw it earlier. Let's see, let's see, where is it? Sometimes finding options is very hard on this. So just keep that in mind. So um, this right here is the record keyframe. And this will record every single thing you do in motion. So or whatever you do to the timeline. So if I already, and this right here. So if I already record it, this brings it, uh, this, if you move it, your mouse to the right, this will move it to the right. So it's from here, when you play it, it's going to be like this, and then it's going to move like that. Or you can do it the other way. In this case, I'm going to move it over. This, the Y option here, this will move your font um, up or down. So by moving it forward by negative, uh, keeping it up like that, the positive numbers makes it go up. Negative numbers makes it go down. Of course, that's how you use graphing, right? So I'm going to move it up. <laughs> And then the Z basically zoom makes it bigger or smaller. So that's, I'm gonna go like this. So now if I were to play it, it's gonna be too fast. Why? Well, that's because I didn't move it ahead. I have to move it ahead like that. So the more you move it, the longer it takes. So right here, this is gonna be really fast, a fast animation, because it's only gonna be from here to here. But if it was from here to all the way over here, of course it's gonna take longer, right? So how do I delete the keyframes? If you move it back slightly, you will see that there's yellow keyframes. Uncheck that, click that, or you can just reset the whole thing. That's the fast way. So you wanna move it to, right here would be great. Then of course, just move it along just for video uh, uh, purposes. I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. So just like that. So now if I were to play it from the beginning, you can see it moves. Click stop or click it again to stop it recording. Now if I were to play it, it's gonna be like this and then it's gonna move up. So that's really, really cool. But of course you might wanna do it faster depending on the text. So that is how you do typography. Now, I might've not even gone so far in using actually doing typography because trust me, there is longer videos on how to do typography in Motion 5. This is just a little, it kind of like a more of a spoof on how to do it. Like a really, really tiny way of doing typography in Motion 5. So if you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like in the description, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.